Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss how to send the post request using the Resha framework. So first, let me create a separate directory inside our project. And the directory name is rest post and point. Inside this directory, I'm going to add a class. And the class name is test post and point. So let me create a test method inside this class. So in this test method, I'm going to write the code which will send the request with JSON data. So first I'm going to create some private variables. One will represent the endpoint URL to the post and second is for random ID generator. And also I'm going to copy this two line of code where we are creating the JSON body. So the first thing what we need to do is to create the IREST client. Then we need to create the request. Specify the post endpoint URL. So when we are sending the post request, we need to attach the header that will tell that what format of data this request is carrying. So here I'm going to add the header. Request.add header. So content type. And its value is application slash JSON. Similarly, I'm going to add one more header that will tell the application that in which format application should respond for this request. So let me change it to XML. After that, we need to attach this JSON body along with the request. So there is a method called add JSON body. This will add this payload with the request. Then we need to use client to send the request. And the method which I'm going to use is post and pass the request. So if you look at the return type of this method, it is I rest response. And after that, I'm going to add the validation on the status code. Also, I'm going to print the content of the response. So let me put the breakpoint at line number 44 and run this script in a debug mode. Step over and let's see what is inside the content. So this is the response. And let me also see what is the ID. So 361. So let me use the postman to find whether the record with this ID is present or not. So this is the record. 